as we have already discussed with the scutopic vision by rod cells in the previous video now in this video we'll be discussing about cone cells and the color vision by them first of all let's see the structure of cone cell here in the structure of cone cell you can see the shape of cell is like that tapering towards the front end and it bears mitochondria and in the front of it it has got discus and on the left it bears nucleus in its body and terminally we can see that it's having a synaptic end so why are those cone cells present in our eye these cones can be found in the center part of retina called macula and in this macula a small region of densely packed concentrated cones are found in a part called fovea centrales here in this diagram you can see the macula region and a spot called fovea centrales lying in it and it's these regions where cones are abundant so we can say the cones are present at the center of retina and towards the periphery of retina there is reduction in the number of cones because the periphery bears the rod cells and we have almost about six to seven million cones in a human eye and the photoreceptor pigment of cone cells is photopsin which happens to be of three types as cones are also of three types which we will be discussing later on what kind of cones are there in retina now let's see the function of cones first unlike rods which work in dim light conditions these work during well lit conditions that means like in a daytime or work in a bright artificial lights like led lights so being able to work in well lit conditions we call it a photopic vision like we have a rod cells they give us a scutopic vision that is the night vision and these cone cells give us photopic vision and in the photopic vision these cells are able to differentiate the color in visible spectrum so we say that they allow the perception of color here so in the visible spectrum which has got a pure spectral colors and these spectral colors are perceived by cone cells and give us a colored vision as you already know visible spectrum gives pure spectral colors and rest of the colors are being made by mixing the different wavelengths in cone cells thereby giving a color vision so it must be noted here that our cones does not receive all the colors from the visible spectrum but different kind of wavelengths are mixed together to give different type of color because the primary colors are first mixed by these cones the wavelength of the colors and then give us a color vision as i have already told you these cones are of three types and the types are s type cone m type cones and l type cones so what this s m and l denotes s denotes the wavelength the cones receives that's the short wavelength of visible spectrum and m denotes the medium wavelength the cone receives from visible spectrum and l cones which means long wavelength of visible spectrum is received by l cones and if we see the visible spectrum as you can see in this diagram we see it has got different colors that's violet indigo blue green yellow orange red that comes to be vibgyr v i b g y o r this is the color range of visible spectrum but all the colors of the visible spectrum are not received by cones but it's the primary colors in it that are blue green and red or we can say rgb red green blue that are the primary color that are received by these three cones so blue having the short wavelength will be received by the s cones and the green color in visible spectrum will be received by the m cones while as the l cones will receive the red light because red has the highest wavelength in it so i have already told you these rgb that's the primary colors will be received by our cones by their respective cones so these primary colors why they are called primary colors because these primary colors will form the secondary colors they have the tendency to form different type of colors or we can say million of colors are being formed by the primary colors Just like in case of printer printer has the same ink form that's rgb and printer prints in different colors millions of colors that the computer gives it a function and in the same way our retina can produce million of colors by mixing the wavelength of cones of rgb cones different type of cones by mixing the small portion of wavelength from 
S cones, from M cones and from L cones and giving us different type of colors from the visible spectrum. So in this way, the color vision is perceived by our eyes by mixing the different wavelengths of visible spectrum. So this was all about the cones and the color vision perceived by our eyes. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.